on the American couple. From the start I must confess that I don't really know uh, which is this couple. There are two uh, couples to speak of. More important, there are some uh, cameo appearances by some people. But then um, to concentrate on the main roles, uh, if this were a movie, eventually nominated for Academy Awards, they would say um, in the male lead role we have Vin. Uh, his wife Gabrielle would be as an actress, perhaps nominated. And then we have supporting roles. Frank and his wife Eileen. Gabrielle has won a, a game show competition uh, for which she dressed uh, as a duck. She mentions this for a few times. She is a sensational woman. She can read minds, gestures, um, small movements, uh, almost anything. In fact, her husband is somewhat uneasy around her because he knows uh, this uh, skill that she has uh, and you can be proud of that but uh, when you know that the person next to you can anticipate and know what you're thinking you can be in trouble if you have something wrong on your mind um, Vin has been a major in the Vietnamese army and by now it's pretty clear all the characters uh, that uh, we read about in uh, Robert Olin Butler's uh, stories uh, have supported been in the war on the side of the South Vietnamese and I love that I hate the communists uh -huh. <clears throat> so um, they arrive in this uh, Puerto Valerta um, resort in Mexico which became famous on account of a, a movie being filmed here, which is uh, The Night of the Iguana, I've seen it, liked it. Uh, and where uh, it's important what happened behind the scenes, Richard Barton was having an affair with Elizabeth Taylor, and it was felt that all the world is watching them. They had two houses separated by a bridge, and everybody was watching this bridge to see if and when uh, Richard Barton is uh, going to the other side. Um, at the pool of the hotel, Gabrielle, uh, with her uh, magical powers, can tell that those she sees around have been in game shows. She only, because she's not really a, an angel or some demon or something, so she doesn't really have uh, extra terrestrial powers or something um, she makes a mistake uh, in attributing the game show she can tell so much except for I would say minor detail she thinks this uh, person uh, won her competition in the Wheel of Fortune it turns out to be different but that's minor comparing to what she can s feel uh, say and it's amazing she gets close to Eileen she is also a winner in some game and together by the pool they get to talk about things and uh, um, uh, they decide to get their husbands to visit the setting of the, the aforementioned film. Uh, Frank has been in Vietnam and Gabriel was spot on she could see him and and um, place him <laughs> before he opened his mouth uh, she saw the dog tags and she could see this is a guy who's been in Vietnam and he's still uh, connected to it now there will be two types she says uh, she didn't know to begin with what type this guy was uh, those who hated Vietnam and everything, all the Vietnamese and everything connected with it, and they're still with that online. And the others who uh, uh, didn't, they just for the communists and they appreciate 
Exactly, out of Vietnamese. And um, so Frank and Vin seem to have a connection to talk. There's some tension building up for one moment, but I will not say anything about what happens. So from now I can say, no spoiler alert, I will not say what happens, even if it startled me to some extent. Um, I would just say that they, um, the two couples decide to go there. And before that, there is an astonishing thing Gabrielle does. She sees some people f flying over with a, what I think is a sort of a parachute, dragged by, moved by a motorboat. So she wants to fly up in the air. She does that. On the way down, she seems to lose control. She's very up with the level of many stories, a level of a hotel nearby. And I thought this is the end of the whole thing. She would fall and die. In fact, uh, used with the other stories, narratives which are much shorter, much shorter, I kind of expected this to end way before it did. So this is the, long, the longest I've read in the meantime, uh, some details, a little, few details about it, and this is the longest, the longest in the collection of uh, short stories, 80 pages. And indeed, uh, t t t has tons which I, I was, uh, let's not say flabbergasted, but really surprised by. Uh, excellent story, anyway, and uh, I hope you read it.